What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to English Only 101. Thank you so much for joining me. 20,000 subscribers. 20,000 subscribers. I mean, it's not like 20,000 is a big number. You know, it's not that big. It's a pretty big number. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Thank you for clicking that subscribe button. I love you so much. I haven't given you a hug in a long time. Come here. Anyways, on with the class. I wanted to teach you a few English phrases today that anybody can say. Everybody can say these. Some classes are advanced, some classes are way too beginner, but I wanted to find something right in the middle, something that everybody can say. If you're watching this video, I don't care how long you've been practicing English, I don't care if you're a beginner, I don't care if you've been doing this for a year, you can say these phrases. Enough talking, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you enjoy looking at my face. So dumb, why do you keep talking? Just start the class. Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? It just rolls off the tongue so easily. Do you mind? Do you? Do you mind? Now, what if somebody asks you, do you mind? You could reply, no, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Mind. I don't mind. I tried that already. I tried that already. I tried. Tried. It's a TR. Try. Tried that already. I tried that already. For example, you're having a conversation with your friend. My computer's not working. And your friend says, turn it off, then turn it on again. And you say, I tried that already. I tried that already. My sister asked me earlier, have you talked to dad? Have you talked to dad? Have you talked to dad? The ED at the end of talk is almost silent. You can barely hear it, but it's there. Talked, talked. But if you say it fast, have you talked to dad? It almost sounds like I'm just saying talk without ED. Have you talked to dad? It sounds like that when you say it fast. Have you talked to dad? But if you slow it down and you really get in there, you can hear it. Have you talked, talked? You can hear that ED. Have you talked to dad? Now, you can replace dad with anybody. You can put any name you want to. Have you talked to Sarah? Have you talked to John? Have you talked to mom? This one right here is for anybody with children or anybody with nephews or nieces or grandchildren. How was school? How was school? How was school? Very easy, easy to say. How was school? Was it good? Was it good? Was it good? Was, was it good? Was it good? You can use this phrase for any time you want to know someone's opinion on whether or not something was good. So if somebody says, we ate Mexican food tonight, you could ask, was it good? Or you can mix two phrases. The phrase before this one was, how was school? So what if you put two of these phrases together? How was school? Was it good? It's still easy, even if you put two of them together. It's super easy to say, everybody can do this. How was school? Was it good? If you're an advanced English learner, I get it. I get it, these phrases are, was it good? I get it, it's easy stuff. But I appreciate you sticking around just to listen to me talk. That means something to me. You're here, you don't even like these phrases. You know these phrases, but you're just chilling with me. You're just hanging out, you just wanna to listen to me talk. And you know what, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. On to the next phrase. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Now, this is something you'll say when you don't wanna make a decision right now. You'll think about it. If somebody asks you something, and you don't wanna make a decision right now, you'll say, we'll see. 
So your kids might ask, mommy, can we get a puppy? You can say, we'll see. I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. I said, we'll see, we'll see. But probably no, we're not getting a puppy. Look at that plane. Look, look at that plane. Look at that plane. Now, the important part of this phrase is look. That's what I want you to understand the most. Okay, look is a very important and vital piece of the English vocabulary. You need to know that word. So I'm just throwing this in a phrase. Look at that plane. You can replace the word plane with anything. Look at that dog. Look at that car. Look at that woman. Look at that subscribe button, man. Look at that. Look at that subscribe button. Look how pretty it looks, man. Slap that subscribe button, man. That's a nice car. That's a nice car. That's a nice car. Same thing with the phrase before. You can replace that word. You can replace car with whatever you want to replace. I would choose materialistic things, objects. That's a nice boat. That sounds great. That's a nice boat. Or that's a nice bike. That's a nice bike. It works great with those. I wouldn't use real things. I wouldn't replace that word with humans. That's a nice baby. No, <laughs> no you, you wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say, it just sounds weird. Can you imagine holding somebody's baby? Oh, such a cute baby. And you give the baby back. Hey, that's a nice baby you got there. <laughs> hey. That's, hey. Hey, that's a nice baby. <laughs> hey, that's a nice baby. You wouldn't say that. It just does not sound right. So I would just stick to materialistic things. That's a nice skateboard, bro. That's a nice basketball. That's a, that's a nice pair of shoes you got on, man. That's a nice jacket. I like that jacket. That's a nice jacket. Guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope these phrases are actually useful for you. I hope you write them down and I hope you practice them. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, just in case I don't see you before Christmas. I will see you before Christmas, I promise. I'm gonna put another video out, I promise. But just in case, just in case there's an earthquake and the camera falls down and breaks and there's no way for me to film a video for you, just in case some crazy stuff like that happens, I want you to know, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Subscribe to this channel before you go, go, go. Like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.